Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install WooCommerce in WordPress. So it's pretty much easy. Just follow me closely. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your WordPress account. Okay. There are actually two easy ways that you can definitely get this done. Number one, if you are creating a WooCommerce account for the first time, all right, you would have, okay, definitely typed WooCommerce in your Google search bar, all right, using any browser of your choice. Now, once you do that, and then it takes you to the official website, follow the on-screen prompt to sign up for free. And once you go through with the process, it takes you to a window where it says you should create a WordPress account or sign in using an existing WordPress account. Now, that shows you that your WordPress account is integrated into your WooCommerce account. So once you go through with that process, and I like to recommend that you sign up using Google because the registration process is quite self-explanatory and easy. All right, it's pretty much easy and automatic as well. So once you go through with Google, you just have a couple questions to answer to set up your business. And once your business has been set up, you're going to see that it's going to take you to this WordPress window that has WooCommerce written all over it. So this is my Woo um, product, um, sorry, my Woo store, which is Ami stores. And all of these options are just integrated into WooCommerce. But now there's another way to go about it. Like say, for example, if you do not want, if you did not automatically integrate WooCommerce into WordPress during registration, here's exactly what you can do. All right, so just head over to the left corner of your screen. You're gonna see a lot of options right here. So just head over to um, plugins. Go ahead and click on plugins. Now, once you click on plugins, it takes you up to this window. Go ahead and click on browse plugins. And in the search plugins bar, go ahead and type um, WooCommerce and tap the enter button. And here you go. So this is WooCommerce. So just go ahead and click on that. So, so all you need to do right here is that you should, of course, click on this download button and download it. But then let's read the um, installation options. It says automatic installation is the easiest option. So WordPress will handle the file transfer and you have to leave your web browser. So to do an automatic install of WooCommerce, log into your WordPress dashboard, navigate to the plugins menu and click add new. And in the search field type WooCommerce, then click search plugins. Once you found us, you can view details about it, such as point release, rating and description. Now, most importantly, of course, you can install it by click install now and WordPress will take it from there. So scroll that way down and it says download. So we have download options. So click on the download button. And as you can see right here, it's downloading. All right, so as it has downloaded, like it said, WordPress is definitely going to take it up from there. So that's it. All right, I'm just going to head over to the home page from here. And I'm going to refresh. So that's it. So WordPress will definitely take it up from there to integrate Woo into that. That's if you are doing it through that process. So also either we had yes said automate Woo and look at Woo says dashboard workflows guess up thing. So Go ahead and open this automate rule.
so all of this is how you can definitely automate more and if you see the options in here like when you head over to settings you're definitely going to see your woocommerce settings so you're just going to see that it is just integrated that way so here you go just go through this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and of course i hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search